This is my third bottle of highlight here. And this one goes out to all my homies in Capabo Jangle and Fitty Fitty. I miss you and I love you. And even though I won't be enrolled at Longwood in the fall, I can't wait to see you again. Because God damn it, you know I'll be back. So, for those of you who don't know, Kappa Bojangle and Fitty Fitty, these are people of the Curry Smoke Hut at Longwood University, and I just had to give them a shout out because, uh, particularly for the last past year, those people have been my heart. Honestly, there hasn't been a week of the entire school year where I didn't hang out with one of them at least once. Hell, at least three times. And towards the end of spring semester, it was damn near every fucking night. And you know, this is what we do. We sit around, drink, and be ridiculous. You know, for the ones who were there from the beginning, the ones who showed up somewhere in the middle, the ones who were there through the end, and those who had to call it quits a little early. I love you all, man. Ashley, Ashley, Allison, big ups to my homegirl, Jesse Johnson. Bless your heart, wherever you are, whatever you're doing with your life. Uh, Mike Storch. Larry, Anthony, I gotta name Fitty first because you know, Fitty came first, and I, let's not be misunderstood, I am not an official member of Fitty Fitty, simply because I was not there when the group originated. But those motherfuckers are my heart and soul and I fucking love them like family, because they, as far as I'm concerned, they are family. Here's Tootie. And then there's good old KBJ. Let, let me just tell you about these fuckers, okay? Like I said, I'm done with school. I won't be back in the fall. That was my senior year. And I remember being a freshman and being all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and being really happy when, you know, a few upperclassmen decided they would take me in and not let me, you know, wander around completely blind, deaf, and dumb to the world that is long with. So in my senior year, I decided I didn't want just one. I took in a whole fucking flock of freshmen. What started as, you know, me just looking for a few new friends turned into me starting relationships that I could not see my life without now. There's, you know, the four originators. Myself, El Capitan. Brandon, also known as, you know, Pretty Boy Floyd. Casey Jones, Dark Meat. And Joe Brown, the infamous angel of frailty. And we were doing right what I, just what I'm doing right now. And we were like, we need a name for our group. Well, what do we do all the goddamn time? Bojangle. Bojangling is procrastinating on shit you want to do. We were infamous for it. We should party. And then we wait three hours. We should go buy the booze for tonight. And then we bojangle on it another, you know, half hour before anybody does anything. We should call people up and see if they want to chill tonight. What do you think happens? We bojangle on it. So, I just threw a Greek letter in front of it and boom, Kappa Bojangle was born. 
And um, we consider ourselves the founders because it was the four of us at the table when the idea came to be. However, Kappa Bojangle has a plethora of other members as well. There's Zach, who, pardon me, I forgot to mention, he's also part of 5050. Actually, he's one of the, yeah, he's one of the originators of 5050. Excuse me, Zach, for not mentioning you earlier. Suwu, etc. Um, there's Woodstock. Woodstock, oh god, that girl has, that girl has been my heart. She's, I can always go to Woodstock for anything I need, like, we cook together, we laugh together, we cry together, we just hang out naked together. Cause hell, she was the only one who was who would willingly put up with my, well no no, I'm not saying the only one who would willingly, but she was the only one who put up with my new dream without complaints. <laughs> Here's to you Woodstock. Then there's Sarah Grace. Ah. Oh. Sarah, Sarah's a good girl. I love you, Sarah. You know what, dude. Always do. And it would not be forgiven if I did not mention my girl, the third Ashley. Ashley King, also known as Spinelli. If anybody watched Recess, you know Spinelli went by her last name because she didn't, because she didn't exactly fit in with. The Ashley. Ashley King was that Ashley for us. And Ashley King and I... What we had was magic. What we have is magic. Cause goddamn it, it ain't over. And if it means playing red and black till I'm blue in the face, probably in a puddle of my own fluids, then goddamn it, I'm down. I fucking love you, and I only hope that I've been as good to you as you've been to me, because my life the past year has been amazing, and particularly the past semester when you came into our lives, it's been a treat. I've had a lot of time on my hands since the accident, you know, to think about life and to Think about what the hell I'm gonna do, you know, not coming, dealing with the notion that I'm not going back to Longwood in the fall. And I, I cried a lot, but god damn it, I smiled and laughed and cackled even. Far, far, far more than I could cry because. The good times were fucking great. Thank you guys. I I went into my senior year saying I want to go out with a bang. If this is the bottom and these were expectations out of the frame. You guys put it out of the frame. Fitty Fitty and Kappa Bo put it out of the frame. And there were other people, there were other people who were there. They, they weren't pro, they, they weren't necessarily considered part of Kappa Bo or Fitty Fitty, but they were part of the group. Katie B. Mike Becker. The list goes on and on. Like Anyone who's ever been to the Pop Cave, <laughs> as, as they so lovingly dubbed it, you know, Foreman's Basement became my kitchen, and I owe it all to you guys. Thanks so much. Fucking love y'all, and we just gotta make sure we do it again. I'm gonna turn this up for my homies. Kristen, I ain't forget about you. Fuck frailty. Ain't no frailty in my house. <laughs>